The following report contains some disturbing images. Angry, distraught and beyond consolation. These women and their little children had fled the fighting near their homes in northern Gaza and taken shelter in a UN school. Then it too was caught up in the bloody violence. The Israelis hit us in our homes and they hit us at the school, this woman cries. Israel says it's investigating and that Hamas rockets could be to blame. The dead and wounded were brought here to the hospital. 100 uh, are injured and many people are killed. There are children, uh, young children and women. Then, while we're filming, an Israeli tank shell explodes just outside the hospital gates. Once again, there's panic. The front line of the conflict reaches even here. Nearby, the Beit Halun school is now deserted. As they ran away, people left their belongings behind. There are bloodstains everywhere here and pieces of shrapnel. This was supposed to be a place of safety, but nowhere in Gaza is safe nowadays. The school took a direct hit. This is how the same school looked when the BBC visited just a few days ago. It was full of families. Now it's become the fourth UN building to be fired upon in four days. Um, that was a designated emergency shelter. We had transferred the location of that to the Israelis on 12 occasions, uh, last time at 10.56 this morning. So um, it was well known. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's outrageous, it's shocking. Survivors of the school explosion now find themselves displaced yet again. We find many here in a corridor at the Beit Hanun Hospital. And they're just a small fraction of the tens of thousands left homeless by the ongoing conflict.